Hi everyone, welcome back to another Liquid and Lacquered. Tonight I want to show you some new essence polishes, new to me essence polishes. I've kind of been picking up a couple here and there over the last couple of uh, months since they were released. And yeah, I just decided to show you the ones that I've picked up. I've picked up nine in total. So um, it is on my nails, so I will come to that. Uh, let's talk about the first one I picked up. I pre-swatched them and everything just so I can give you a chance to uh, see them and all that kind of thing. But this is uh, the new bottle. This is the old bottle. So it was called the Gel Nail Polish. Now it's called Essence Shine Last and Go. Uh, it's the same size. It's still eight mils. It's the same price, I believe. Well, it's the same price here, I think. I do still, I like the new bottles. They close really well, like the old ones. And um, yeah, so let's talk about this first polish. This is the first one I bought. It is called Heatwave and it's number 15. It is a beautiful red toned orange. Now, if you struggle to wear orange, I think this is a good one to wear. It is a Crelly, so it did take two coats on some nails and three coats on others. Maybe that was just my application. But as oranges go, I think this is a good, like I'm quite pale and orange doesn't always look great on me, even though I still wear it anyway. Um, but this really is a lovely, lovely colour. Now it looked red in my photographs. I hope it doesn't look red on, on camera. It's not red, as you can see if I put it next to this red. It is properly orange. But um, yeah, so that is the first one. That's Heatwave. And um, I haven't top coated any of them because, oh, I dinked that, by the way. Anyway, hopefully it won't matter. Um, I haven't top coated any, any of them because I wanted to see, I wanted to show you just how shiny they are. And it is in the, it is in the title. So they are very, very shiny and lovely. So that is the first one, Heatwave. The next one, I have worn this also. And this, we are not going to see it here, but I'll make sure to put a picture on screen. This is a beautiful blue with a, or sorry, a beautiful mint with a blue shimmer. And this is Take Me to Heaven and it's number 35. And it does, you can see the shimmer there in the bottle. Now, I could only see the shimmer in direct sunlight. Um, it doesn't really stand out that great. It is very, very subtle, but it's very pretty nonetheless. And it's just a great blue as well, actually. It's just or a great minty blue color because it does look blue on the nails, even though I feel like there's a minty quality to it. So I'm not sure if it's the blue shimmer making it look blue. You know, it's one of those kind of mystery polishes. And next to it then we have a topper. Now this is uh, this is called uh, Party Time. It's number 23. It doesn't have that purpled base. It hasn't come out. So you can see there it hasn't changed the color of the base at all. It's not very textured. I've left it on top coated so you can see it's just not textured at all. There are bar glitters and they're quite long, but they don't stick up. They're very, very fine. And it's this kind of iridescent quality that they have in the glitters in here. And then there's a blue glitter as well. My only issue with this is, and this is a problem with these kind of glitters I find, whether it's an indie or mainstream, it's already, oh, I know it's fine. I feel like it's already a little bit thick. So um, it is a problem with these polishes though. These kinds of polishes, I feel with these opalescent, iridescent -y type glitters, they always kind of go gloopy. I don't know why, but um, yeah. The next up then, I've also worn this one. This is beautiful. This is a true olive green. It's gorgeous, great formula. It's I am what I am and it's number 50. Fantastic formula and just so beautiful. Like that's it in two coats. I should have said this was two coats as well. That's it in two coats. But um, this, it, it, you might get away with one if your application was careful but it's just a beautiful olive cream, lovely. And then what's on my nails today with uh, an Anna Sui top coat and some model zone stamping, details below. And um, this is 45 Creating Memories. This is the one when I saw it, a little bit of plastic there, when I saw it, 
it immediately jumped out at me. Look at the color of this. It's just this gorgeous blue toned purple. Very, very vibrant. Looks great in sunlight. Really, really great. Now, it could have been a one coater for me. I went for the two coats. Um, I think two coats are probably better because I don't know. It was a little bit I'm not thick going on but it's one of those ones you could get it in one coat but it might take a little bit longer to dry then so it depends on you I think sometimes you're better off with this kind of formula just doing two thinner coats Um, it's a good formula but quite a lot comes out on that brush and it's a great formula really really shiny I couldn't get over it this one in particular was super shiny um, and you can see there they're all pretty shiny then the rest I haven't worn yet. This is a kind of a, I guess like a fuchsia color. It's called Anything Goes and it's number 21. I mean, I don't know why I'm showing you the backs. You can't really read them. They're never really clear to read, but um, it's lovely so far. It seems to be more like the orange in that it's like um, leaning into that curly type formula. So I did put three coats here just because I felt there was quite a lot of light coming through. So I'll have to experiment with that one. And then this one is a really unusual color. It's like a, an earth color, like a red earth color, which kind of makes sense with the name then because they've called it Hakuna Matata. So it's uh, number 18 and it does have that kind of red earthy color. It's not quite brick. Um, it's not as red as a brick color um, and it's not as orangey as a terracotta but um, yeah it's, it's just that lovely red earth color I really really like that actually and actually I got it for I probably use it more in reverse stamping than I will as a full manicure because I don't have a color I don't think I have a color like it I might have something in OPI that's a bit like it but formula is excellent and then I picked up this one which is really it's not an, a highlighter color. It's like, it's like, um, I guess what you call them bleached neon kind of color almost. It's like, um, it's not a neon though. It is, it is a, a, just a cream, but it does kind of have that really vibrant yellowed green color. And, um, I have a couple of colors like this, but this one, when I held it up against me, I was like, I think this one actually might suit my skin tone in the summer. So, um, yeah. Now the next one, unfortunately I did dink it, but I don't think it's going to make a huge amount of difference. And it's this. This might be the star. I have yet to wear it. This is my most recent purchase. Dangerous going shopping when they have essence in the store. This number 22, I believe. It's a gorgeous grey. Um, it's, it's a grey with a, a bit of lavender in it. And then it's got this hot kind of pink flash really really pretty they have continued with like you know the 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 color of the knit varnish is, is carried into the top they have continued that like with the glitter here as well you can see it and um, so that's good but this is really beautiful and it was good in two coats i had to add a third to cover up my dinked um uh, because i dinked it but it's really really pretty and um the shimmer really stands out on this 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 is really delicate and yeah can't wait to wear that i'm thinking some pink stamping over metallic stamping or something anyway that's it let me know if you picked up any essence polishes um i've seen a few uh youtubers got like the full collection and it looks fantastic there are some repeats like they, they still have the black they still have electric which is one of my favorites of all time um i bought a few backups of that when i thought it, when i was worried that they were going out um they were going to be gone but they have bought it back so that's great so there are a few like old favorites still in the collection but i'm enjoying the new ones so yeah let me know if you picked up any and i will talk to you all again soon bye